Hello, hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to my garage, where we are currently working on uh, the uh, Jesse over here, aka El Camino. Anyway, we are here, and yes, we are working on this car today. We are making the, uh, my name is Quad Car, I mean Earl Car, right? Fantastic. So, what are we going to be doing next? Well, I did clean up the garage. As you can see, it looks a little bit better. I still got my pile here. Uh, that's fine, though, because once we're done, we'll toss it in there and get it sold. Uh, but we need to finish on this. I went ahead and restocked some of my supplies. And I forgot the freaking Bondo, this stupid thing. Okay. Anyway, we're going to do a Bondo job. We're just going to do a quick one. So we'll be back once it's done. And there we go. There we go. It's all Bondoed up. Uh, yep, we used uh, three full ones and about a half of one over there. But as you can see, uh, there was quite a bit on there. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to repaint it again. Uh, but this time, I'm going to paint it the right way. We're actually going to be pulling off panels uh, so we can make sure that this thing's fully painted gray and such. And plus, I need to get underneath. And uh, there's quite a bit under there that we need to get off as well. So I think what we're going to be doing, though, is we are going to, in fact, and yeah, see this whole bottom piece, like this piece here is all rusted out. And if we come underneath, um, this is all rusted out, so we're going to put it onto the lifts and, uh, get all those bad parts off. Uh, so yeah, yeah, let's just push this backwards a bit and get it onto this lift and hopefully we won't have any issues doing that. Uh, but let's find out, I guess. Come on, baby. Just go back. Go. Come on. Okay. It's a little bit hard to push, uh, but we're going to get it. We're going to get it. There we go. See? A little bit of strength. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just get this uh, push back. Okay, okay. I got to push back. It is up on the lift a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start taking stuff off. Uh, probably the whole rear end. Yep, so let's get our wrench in hand. Um, I did collect everything into my toolbox. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Before we do that, though, we need to turn on our lights. There is the top light and the bottom light. I still haven't fixed that, by the way. Um, I will eventually and let's turn these side lights on as well And this should give us a little bit better lighting underneath and heck yes, it does check it out It's about as beautiful as it could be anyway. Let's pull off the shock first Yep. Oh, oh there it goes. There goes almost the whole rear end fantastic. Uh, let's pull off the gas tank uh, There we go Yeah, there's quite a bit of rust down here uh, So this whole piece needs to be replaced uh, the back bumper piece and then this little uh, piece that shoots across there. But anyway, let's throw all the junk out here. Uh, we're not going to worry about if there's any fuel in that or not. Um, this does have a good brake line on it, so we will pull that off. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab that right away. Right there. And I don't know if this side is technically on. It looks like it was. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're just going to put this over here into the good pile. And we'll take off the rim. I don't know if rims actually go bad. I mean, I know they get dented, um, but I've never seen them like rusted and stuff. So I don't even know if I should be keeping rims. Uh, but anyway, this is all bad. We're going to just throw away the rotor and everything. Rotors don't cost that much, uh, but the uh, what, these hubs are bad on both sides. So there's no reason to keep that. Uh, but yeah, as far as rims go, I don't know if I should be keeping these. I mean, I guess we could keep them for... Well, I don't know. I guess we could keep them and use them. Um, maybe we'd have to like really inspect them good to see if they have any uh, dents or damage or not, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, anyway, let's get back over here. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, that looks like everything. So let's get our cutter out. We're going to have to move this, I think. We might be able to get it off. We'll find out. Uh, but yeah, let's get the cutter, uh, which is here. I think there's, yep, there's some on here already. So... Let's go ahead and detach this piece first. Uh, let's get a new disc, though. There we go. And let's cut this one off, because I don't even know what this thing's called. Uh, so we're going to have to see what it's named. Uh, there it goes. Let's take a look. This is called a middle frame brace. Okay, we're just going to set it there for now. Uh, let's go ahead and pull off this one here. We're going to have to cut all along the sides here. And there it goes. There it goes. Uh, this one is called probably a left frame rail. Okay. Easy enough. And let's see. What else? What else? 
uh, this little back um, bumper bit. Uh, let's cut that off, see what it's named. There we go. That should be enough. We'll find out. There it goes. There it goes. What is it called? A rear frame brace. Okay, so we got a rear frame brace, a left frame rail, and a middle frame brace. Easy enough. Okay, anything else that we need to pull off? We are, in fact, going to pull off these... Um, we're going to pull off these quarter panels because I do want to be able to paint the bed completely gray without actually screwing up those quarter panels. Where did our, uh, do you guys see where the tailgate went? Where the hell's the tailgate at? Oh, look, there it is. <laughs> look, oh my God. Oh, there it is. Okay. Anyway, that's hooked to this rear frame brace. We're going to have to pull that off uh, with some bolts real quick here. Let's go and grab our wrench. And here we go. Loosen one, two. And there we go. Fantastic. And it should just fall apart. It did. It did. Okay. So the tailgates. Okay. Let's put that down. Or not. Or not. Whatever. Okay. The tailgate's actually fine. Um, I'm going to have to see if I could paint the inside of this gray and the outside red without it bleeding through to the other side. Uh, if not, we're just going to paint the whole thing red, I think. I think that'll be fine. It'll look uh, just fine. Just fine indeed. Okay, those must be for the lights. How are the lights, by the way? Uh, they look fine enough. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to pull off these fenders real quick. Uh, so then we can make sure we... Oh, look, there's a there's a welding stick right here. Um, let's just set this on the table. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And then let's grab this out of the way as well. And then let's cut off these fenders. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, let's see, let's see. This looks like it's connected here. Let's get this reloaded real quick. There we go. All right, yep. And let's see, where else is it connected? Uh, that looks like it's part of the fender. It's kind of hard to tell what's fender pieces and what's um, uh, bed pieces, you know what I mean? Looks like there's one right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. I don't know how the bed actually comes. There it is. There it is. Look. Fantastic. Let's pull this off. Uh, this can get painted red. Now, we're just going to set this over here for now. I guess that's fine. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look and see how this looks, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to be able to paint that gray with no problem. Okay. Uh, let's do the same thing on this side. I think we had uh, this one here. A little side piece and then this bottom one and did we get the one up inside we did not there we go there we go that should be enough um it should fall but we're gonna go ahead and get this reloaded anyways there we go yep let's go ahead and bring this over here uh, we'll get these painted red like they should be okay okay let's bring this down uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll bring it down. So we need to get these pieces for the framing and all of that. But we're going to paint this first. Okay, we don't want to go all the way down, though. Okay. Yeah, we could paint this all gray and not have a problem. Um, You know, in the TV show, this, uh, my name is Earl. Uh, these little bits here on the sides of the, the inside of this is gray. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get that without it bleeding through. Uh, but I think what we are, in fact, going to do is just cut off uh, the roof. Uh, just so... Okay, there it went. Easy as pie. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and we'll see if we can get those gray without bleeding through as well. Uh, but that'll allow us to actually paint this whole thing gray without touching any of the red. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So let's get the gray paint real quick. Uh, I think we have one just right here and yeah, let's get this all painted. Uh, yep. Just come right up through here. Oh, we already out. We're already out. Not a problem. I don't think we're going to need blue for anything, uh, but I do want to find the red so we can, um, go get another bottle, another can. Uh, but I have to find it, actually. Uh, did we use it all? Oh, crap. Okay, okay, okay. This is going to be a little bit difficult to do here. Uh, what is this? This is the gray. We can't forget this. Okay, so that's the gray. Let me find... Oh, there's the red. Okay, fantastic. 
Okay, let's go grab these uh, DD12 and 18. Okay, we're just gonna go run over there real quick and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, okay, I'm back with the paint. Let's just go ahead and drop it all. There we go. I got a couple grays, a couple uh, reds, uh, but let's go ahead and grab the gray and finish up this paint job here. Uh, there we go. And then, yeah, can we reach in there and grab that little red spot? We can. Fantastic. Uh, same with up there. There we go. There we go. Okay, this should look pretty good once we're all done. Uh, yep, let's just finish this up. Yep, got that. Okay, I think we'll end up painting the whole tailgate um, red. I, I'll try to do it with the... Oops, easy. No, what the hell? Stop ducking on purpose. Okay, there we go. There we go. I got that corner. Uh, that was a little bit tricky to get, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure was. Okay, let's check this other side real quick. Uh, see if it's giving us the same business. It's not, uh, but we are missing a little bit of paint up top there. Let's see if we can... I don't like that it freaking makes me tilt like that. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I think we got it all. Looks great, looks great. Uh, where's that tailgate at? It's right here. Let's see if we can get the inside gray. Uh, and see if it bleeds through or not. So this should be the inside, right? Yep. Let's take a look at it. Flip it around. Nope. Nope. Okay. We're probably just going to have to paint this whole thing red. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Nobody cares. It doesn't have to be uh, exactly. Uh, so let's grab a red real quick. Uh, and just slap this on. There we go. I think we grabbed the stupid hammer. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's flip this over and see how it looks. Uh, yeah, you know, we're just going to paint it all red. It's fine. Yep. There we go. There we go. And then get this side. Yeah, and this will just be like a freaking red tailgate. Anyway, where's that gray paint at? Uh, we're not going to put this on quite yet. But let's grab this gray real quick. Let's see if we can actually do this. Um, I want to say no, but I guess you never know until you try. Uh, let's take a look at the other side. Yeah, see it bleeds through. And then if we grab the red again, and if we try to paint this outside piece, it just bleeds right on through. So we're just going to paint this whole thing red. Uh, we'll, it'll be exact as it possibly can, but obviously there's going to be some limitations. Now, I thought about using the pen... Uh, there is a paint pen, um, but it's a really tiny uh, pen, and it's not like you can actually change the size of the uh, paint pen. So it'd be almost impossible to do it that way. But anyway, let's grab the rest of these fenders, uh, and then we'll get these all put back on. Um, I'll have to look at the pictures again for My Name is Earl and see if that car actually has any trim, because uh, I don't know. I don't know. If it does, we're going to put the trim on. If it doesn't, we'll take it off. If it has some here and missing some in there, uh, we're going to do it just like the show has it. Uh, let's flip this around, see if the inside looks good. It does not, uh, as we can see back here. There we go. There we go. Let's flip this one around as well and take a look at it. Okay, that one needs to be painted. I thought i seen some out here. Uh, I did not. It was a reflection, but let's grab uh, this piece real quick. And there we go. Fantastic. Okay, let's take a look at it. Okay, we still need to paint the front end, obviously. Um, looks like I'm missing a little bit of gray. Uh, just right here. Uh, oh, yeah, we did. We were missing gray. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Um, we're going to have to remove the hood so we can paint that gray. Let's grab our wrench real quick, and we'll get that taken off. Um, I might be able to paint it, actually, with it lifted up like that let's try it if not then we'll have to just take it off uh, but let's see okay yeah no i think we're going to be able to get it just like this possibly possibly now let's go and grab up here like that there we go okay in the middle the middle's always the toughest okay let's just shut the hood uh, i think it's far enough away from the okay i don't think we're going to be able to get it uh, we're going to probably have to take it off, but let's just not do that. 
Uh, we're going to bring this down just a bit more. There we go. I think it's all the way down. Uh, we don't want to move it around too much, but yeah, we should be able to do this. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to... Oh, what we could do is just paint through like this, and then we could repaint... Uh, lift the hood up and then repaint that red. Yeah, yeah, that'll work actually just fine. Okay, that looks like it's all done. Uh, let's just go ahead and lift that up, and then we'll get the red and finish up that front end. Um, there it is right there. Awesome freaking opossum. How you guys doing, by the way? How you doing? Yeah? Oh, okay, okay. You got any plans uh, for the year? Anything? Any good uh, resolutions, as it were? Um, I have uh, some resolutions, that's for sure. Uh, one, start eating healthier, but I feel like that's every year. Uh, I do feel like I need to start going to the gym and all that stuff, but you know how that goes. You go for a little bit and never go back anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this all done. There we go. Oh, and I got a little bit of red on that stupid hood. Uh, it should have been a little bit more careful. Uh, let's see. Where is the good old gray? There she is. Okay. Let's grab that little piece that I screwed up on right here. There we go. There we go. Let's shut it. And how does it look? Well, it looks mighty beautiful. Mighty beautiful indeed. Okay, we can go ahead and start putting everything back on. Um, we're not going to have to grab our welder, which is right here. Uh, let's just flip it up and then grab this. We do have that stick that we found on the ground. Uh, so we're going to attach that first. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and lift this back up. Did I uh, screw this up at all? Oh, I see some gray on the bottom there. Where's that red paint? Uh, right here, some. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Where's the welder? Right over there. Okay. Um, let's lift this up, actually. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to sleep a little bit here. Uh, get it a little bit brighter outside. There we go. It's 11. And I went ahead and got the uh, frame pieces while I was over there getting paint. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and throw this frame on and grab our stick here. And let's get this tacked on. Indeed. Um, we're going to have to reload right away, of course. Uh, we'll just bring the whole box over. Drop it. Pull that off. And there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, we're going to hit this piece. There we go. Uh, down here. Let's check this side. Okay, apparently this one uh, we either got at some other point. Uh, ooh, we're gonna have to pay, we're gonna have to remember that piece uh, so we can put it back on anyway. There we go. And let's see if I can get in there. There it is. We got it. We got it. We just had to scroll our big fat heads uh, up there. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab the other pieces. I have them in the car as well. Uh, we have the uh, rear brace and the middle. We're going to put the uh, middle on first, uh, and then we will stick on the rear. There it is. We're going to go ahead and lift this back up, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Okay. Okay. Easy, pal. Did you see that? Oh, my God. I don't know what that hap what happened there. Um, I must have had to do something with that, that brace anyway. Uh, crap, man. We almost had a disaster. I'd had to redo everything again. Uh, let's slide this underneath or not or not. Uh, yeah, let's just bring this back. Let me get this back onto the left and I'll be uh, right back. Okay, okay. We got it back up. Got it back up. Let's get our welder. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it has to do with that piece that we just stuck on. Okay, there we go. And there we go. There we go. Okay, we need to reload. Uh, it's, it's, it's still over here. So let's just grab that. There we go. And okay. Okay. There we go. Put it back on there. Let's grab the rear frame brace as it was right there. We go and attach it. Fantastic. Where is the uh, thing? It's right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this tacked on one and uh, two. Let's just look at the car. I want to make sure that I actually got all of the weld points. Um, it seems like it, we just lost it. So anyway, that looks good. Let's grab our wrench, get the tailgate put on. Um, actually, before we put the tailgate on, we are going to, in fact, uh, add these side panels on. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. Uh, this one should be the uh, left side. There it is. 
let's just grab the right one right away as well so we could do it all together there we go and oh i forgot to see if there was wheel wells um i wonder if i should check and see if we have those first before i put these panels on yeah i think i will uh, and i think i'm gonna grab those little inserts that go uh, behind the doors as well right here and then we can get those all welded on let's see what they're called before we head over there uh, inner panels okay inner panels okay i'll be right back okay okay i'm back they're right here uh fun fact there's actually uh this is the freaking wheel well right here this piece here that goes into the bed um i thought there would be an extra piece that would kind of like well i'll show you what i mean once we get it on there anyway let's grab the welder uh, let's get these little tiny pieces hooked up real quick uh one here and i think there's still one more that we can't see on the inside um but we could get that once we open the door uh there we go okay that one had two there interesting interesting i don't think those were the same ones was it i guess i'll never know anyway where is the uh box let's go ahead and reload this thing up real quick uh, it's right here uh drop it pick it up okay and there we go okay okay uh, let's see did i get everything yeah i think so uh, i might have to bring it down to really look uh once we can open the doors anyway let's put these back on now uh let's see one on the right one on the left there we go and let's get them welded okay we got the one on the bottom the one up into the wheel well there there we go let's grab that piece yep fantastic and back here indeed indeed okay let's do the same on this side uh, there's actually one up top but i think that's the, yeah that's the one we reached through um let's get our heads in we got this bottom one and then this corner one there we go there we go did we get it on that side i think so uh, we did run out let's just go ahead and reload real quick and then we okay apparently not uh this is trash it's gonna grab another box there we go this one has all nine in it uh drop it and stick it on okay there we go there we go uh let's bring it down open up the door and let's just make sure we got inside here okay there we go let's grab our welder and let's uh let's see let's see Okay, that side looks like we got everything over here. Excellent. Let's just come around the horn. Make sure this doesn't disappear. Okay, it hasn't disappeared. It's still all there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it looks like we got all of the weld points, uh, which is great. And then I did want to look up on the front side. Okay, okay. Do I see a piece right here? Actually, look. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, let's open the hood though okay i don't know if i lost that or not <laughs> anyway anyway i think that's it let's lift this up and i think that's the whole rest of the body okay there it is there's the uh water stick again yeah i think that's everything we're gonna grab this stick one more time and we're gonna come underneath uh, just to make sure we did get everything inside and outside of those rails uh, it does appear so okay okay fantastic well this thing is basically done just kidding um we have to do the running gear now uh in the front end and all of that but yeah yeah we're doing good we're doing good let's go and bring it down oh we're missing the roof obviously obviously yeah yeah let's grab the trunk first uh get the wrench there we go let's get it tightened up one there one there and there we go fantastic uh, that is on let's go ahead and put the roof on now uh, this is obviously a welded job uh, but that's okay let's grab the welder and we should have yep two on each side the one up here and then yeah we definitely have to grab tint or not tint good lord trim trim and not that kind of trim uh if you're thinking about steak trimmings no <laughs> anyway anyway let's see um yeah should we go ahead and grab the oh look i screwed up didn't see that well i guess it's all red let's just go ahead and see if we can not 
bleed it through the middle. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can do that. We're just going to kind of come over here like this. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. See if it went through. Uh, not really. Okay, fantastic. Uh, yeah, let's go get the trim next, I think. Um, we need door trims for each side. The f Oh, look, I forgot this piece here and this here. How did we get this all grayed up? Anyway. There we go. There we go. Did we get this side? Okay, okay. I think it looks fine. Let's make sure we didn't get the hood. We didn't. Okay, fantastic. Uh, anyway, we need just the front left and rear right um, trims for that. Both windows. Okay, let me go across the street and grab all that trim real quick. And yeah, we got the trims for the beds. Okay, okay, okay. Rear right and front left. Easy enough. Uh, let me just go grab that. Okay. Okay, back. Uh, here's the rear right. Let's just get that on. Um, this one's the front left. We're going to throw that on. Now, I don't know what's going on here, though. Um, I think something's off because there's not supposed to be gaps right here. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, uh, when I was traveling, I just realized our damn other engine fell through the wall at some point. You see that? What the hell? Anyway, um, let's put this rear window on. Uh, that got chrome on it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these doors. Uh, either the roof is broken or the doors are off. Uh, but, or maybe it needs windows? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like I need to look at uh, one of these cars now just to see uh, what it's supposed to look like. Because I'm pretty positive something's not right here. Is it the door? There was no trim for this thing and it kind of already has trim. Um, I thought maybe if we put a window in it, it might fix it. Um, but before we do that, we're going to head across the street here. And we're going to see if we can get an El Camino or a Jesse to spawn. And uh, yeah, of course not. Of course we couldn't get a Jesse to spawn. No, why would we? Let's look at this, by the way. 9,000, not worth it. Um, this has like no rust on it either. Uh, how much is it? 23, yeah. Uh, there is a motorcycle. We do need to get a couple motorcycles. But anyway... Uh, I'm not too sure what's going on with those Jesse windows. Um, but I think what we're going to do next, though, is go across the street and actually get the rest of the windows. So we need the front, because uh, I don't think there's any windows in this door whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know if it's the roof or if it's the... Um, and if any of those panels were dead, like if the roof was a dead panel, we would not have been able to weld it. So uh, the, the roof is actually fine. Maybe it's the door that's jacked up, but it looks so perfectly even, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, uh, we do need a left mirror as well. Let's go grab the windows. This thing has zero windows in it, so we need both doors and a windshield. Uh, we will definitely have to take the Niv over there. Um, I'll just do it by myself. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, okay. I am back. I am back. I got all of the windows. Uh, let's just go ahead and drop it all right here. Some of those are going to be hard to see. Oh, yeah, don't look at that. Just kidding. I went ahead and got, uh, well, frankly, I got all of the suspension pieces as well. Anyway, uh, let's drop those. Uh, here's the front window. Let's get this put on real quick here. There we go. Uh, and let's get these attached. Uh, let's see. I know we dropped. Okay, here is a small window. It's hard as hell to see, uh, but we got it. Let's grab our wrench. I can't remember. I think it's a wrench. Maybe a screwdriver, uh, but we're about to find out, I guess. Uh, let's see. Or not. I guess we're not going to find out anyway. Nope, there it is. There's the bolt for that small window. I think there was another one that fell through the floor here. This is the lift. The lift. There it is. There it is. So hard to see. Anyway, let's get this one put on. And apparently that's not the right one. Shite. Front left. Small. Oh, this one already has a window in it. Shite. Well, I couldn't tell. And, uh, oh well. It's fine. Uh, let's just throw this onto the shelf. And hopefully uh, we'll see it and possibly remember it sometime into the future. Into the future. Anyway, we need to find the other windows. I think they're all the way down here on the bottom. Uh, yeah, I think I see one right here. Just kidding, just kidding. 
Um, I should have attached them when we were over there. Anyway, let's get this all un uh, unloaded. We got two transmissions. Oh, yeah, and check it out. <laughs> I got some lifted uh, rear springs. Um, so that's a thing. Anyway, we might as well just start putting this stuff on. We might as well. Uh, so, yeah, let's just do it. We're going to lift this up. We're, we'll worry about the windows after the fact. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's grab the cross member first, get this attached. Uh, it's just the two bolts on the, each side. Easy peasy, lemon uh, squeezy. Uh, let's go ahead and grab whatever we grab. Just kidding, we don't really want that. Uh, but we do want the axle next, I think. Uh, let's just throw this over here. Yeah, let's grab the axle. There we go. Uh, we should be able to put this on. And then we will be able to put the spring on and then tighten it. Nope, not yet, not yet. Okay, there it is, there it is. Um, it didn't seem like it's staying very good. Let's grab this side. Okay, there we go, there we go. There we go, okay. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on with that spring. Or maybe it's just the axle. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Let's take this back off and let's try this again. I don't feel like that's uh, right. Anyway, off, on. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's the high springs. Well, let's see uh, what else we can attach to kind of get that locked into place. Is it just the rear springs? I guess we could put a rear shock on. Let's do that. Okay, here is a rear shock absorber. Yeah, let's get this on first um, and see if that will help secure this a little bit better. Tight and... Tight. Okay, fantastic. Let's just grab the other one and then we'll put the leaf springs on and see if they look uh, silly or not. Let's see, front shock absorber. Um, I guess we could actually throw this on. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, get the top tight. There we go. And then let's grab the other rear shock absorber and then we'll put on those leaf springs. Um, I got a 4-2 locked differential. I thought that would be a good one. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this other front one on and tight. There we go. There we go. And where's the other rear? There it is. I see it. There it is. Perfect. Let's get this on and then we'll put the leaf spring on. Uh, maybe that's just the way they sit. Uh, I guess we'll find out here. Uh, tight and tight. Let's go ahead and get this high leaf spring on. Oh, I guess it does just sit like that. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't quite line up right, does it? And I don't think high ones are supposed to be on the top anyway. Uh, maybe it'll sit different once we... Uh... Oh, no, this one sits fine. Okay, whatever. Oh, no, never mind. It doesn't sit fine. It doesn't sit fine whatsoever. There we go. <laughs> whatever. It's fine. It is. What it... Why, why didn't throw a bolt back here? There it is. Okay. Okay, whatever. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and just continue putting parts on, I suppose. Um, these will be the rear hubs. There we go. We'll just get these four bolts. Two and a four. There we go. And what else do we got? Uh, another hub. Let's grab that left side now. One, two, three, and a four. Fantastic. Uh, let's take a look here. Nope, we're kicking stuff around, obviously. Not a good thing. Anyway. Let's go ahead and put on... I guess we could put the differential on uh, after. There we go. We got one, two, three, four. And then the fifth one on top. Just kidding. There, oh, there is a big one. Yeah, there's, there's a fifth one. Anyway, we got it. We got it. Uh, let's see. Let's grab... There's a window, by the way. Uh, let's put this on. I don't know if it matters front right front right okay it looks like it matters there we go tight and tight uh, let's just put this onto the car itself there we go and stand up please oh yeah see it doesn't line up right so i definitely have something wrong uh with those windows it's either the doors or it's the roof because uh, i didn't see any trim anyway let's get this one tight uh one two there we go stick it on and then we're going to have to lower the car so we can get in there. Oh, no, we're breaking it once again. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, let's just get this tight real quick. There's one. 
There's a second one. Let's get the other side. Yeah, this is definitely not lining up right. Uh, so something is off. Something is off. It's either the doors. I'm thinking it's either the doors or the uh, roof itself. You see that? Hmm. It feels like the door itself, right? I don't know. It's so weird. Anyway, let's get some more parts put on. Um, I did get regular leaf springs as well because I forgot that they had different ones. Uh, so yeah, I did get some lowered uh, torsion bars as well. Uh, so I thought that would be fun. Let's go ahead and get that on right there. And this don't bolt in at all. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the front should be lowered. The rear should be lifted. It's not how the actual uh, my name is Earl car is positioned. Um, but I did get some regular torsion bars as well. Uh, because, well, because I didn't remember about the lowered uh, or raised ones. But there we go. We have extra parts. That's fine. That's fine. It never hurts to have extras. Uh, let's just go ahead and put this one on as well. Just kidding. Just kidding. These don't go on quite yet. Uh, we need a little bit more of the uh, front end on before we do that. So let's go ahead and throw on the upper control right there and uh, there and let's grab the lower front right control which goes on there and uh, well we got to get that on is it just the one bolt for the lower i think it is okay well that's fine let's go ahead and grab the upper on this side now here we go and there we go okay fantastic uh and there's the lower for that side I should probably put that brake on that car before it goes flying away. But we got the shock and that on now. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, I guess we could put the steering bits on. Why not? Uh, this should go over here on this left side, I think. There it is. Yep. Tighten that. Fantastic. Uh, let's grab the right side now. We should just go right in here. There it is. Let's get it tightened. One. And I think there's a top one. And there was. We got it. Uh, we guess we might as well throw on the t uh, tie rods, right? Might as well. Um, or not. Or not. Actually, we're not going to do that quite yet. I don't think that we're ready for such a thing. Uh, let's grab that other tie rod out of here, though. And we are going to put this uh, piece on real quick. Which goes right there. Uh, tighten on the bottom. And I think this one needs a tightened on the bottom. And that's it. That's it. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else are we forgetting? Um, I did buy carrier hubs. I don't see them, however. Uh, I did buy... I'll check this out. So I got a five-speed manual and a four-speed automatic. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good combo. Just kidding. Um, but no, seriously... I thought I could possibly use it. Uh, where the hell is my carrier hubs? I know I got them. Let's just scoot the car up real quick. Hit that brake. And let's take a look. Oh, apparently I didn't grab them. Well, that's stupid. Anyway, uh, this is a front hub. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where's my carrier hub at? Hmm. I totally did buy them, by the way. Maybe I left them over there. That could be a possibility. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab the, uh, what you call on real quick, this uh, drive shaft. And the reason I got the two different transmissions is because I really, rarely drive automatics. Um, and I wanted to see exactly how good it ran with an automatic. And if we could do, um, what are those? They're not called one-legged burnouts, but, oh, a power brake. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could power brake this thing uh, by using the brake and the gas pedal to do a burnout. Anyway. Anyway, let's see what else do we got the tie rods. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to put these on until we actually get uh, Well, I guess we can we can put half of them on uh, I guess we'll just do that then But we can't put the rest of it on until we get our carrier hub uh, But there we go. Let's go and put that piece on and Okay, we could actually get these Strut rods put in now as we do have the lower control arm uh, and then we just have to tighten it up down there. And then let's grab this strut rod. And then all I have left is the uh, carrier hubs. Um, they should be on the floor across the street. And then, of course, we need rims. 
we definitely need rims and tires. Um, this car, as far as uh, the show goes, doesn't have these rims on it, but it does have these rims. The only problem with these is they're all one side, one size rather. And I was kind of hoping to put some really big fat tires on the back. Uh, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do about tires yet. I think I'm going to get some regular standard rims and put those big, big fatties on the back. I want to see if I could actually um, pop the front end of this up in the air. Anyway, uh, we need to put this to the back. No, this is a front actually. Uh, yeah, let me go across the street and grab those carrier hubs. Uh, they might be on the floor in there or... I lost them on the way. I think we'll just run over there together and find out. Um, let's leave this and I don't have them in my pockets. Yeah, yeah. Let's just go over here. Let's take a look. See if I left them on the floor or perhaps they fell out while I was driving. Um, I did not drive crazy. I was uh, actually driving really well compared to uh, what you guys normally see. But anyway, anyway, let's get in there. I did go around this way. Uh, nope, I didn't see him. Okay, okay. Hey, anyway. oh, something? look. Yeah, my carrier hub. Why, why is it way over there? Uh, let's see if we can find the other one. I wish I could actually... I wish he would change the color of his flooring, by the way. Um, there it is. Look, there it is. Okay, we got it. We got it. Thanks, buddy. But yeah, see, uh, I'll pull up the image now. You can see those rims that's on there. Um, they're basically exactly like these rims here, uh, except for they have red in the background where these ones don't. And I can't quite paint them. But if you look at them, they're pretty skinny. Uh, but if we come down here, look at these ones. I think we're going to go ahead and get the 16s. Uh, just so we could have some really fat tires. So we're just going to go ahead and not buy them now. Because I didn't bring the Niv. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to get these 16s. And then these for the front. Um, we could actually put these on the front. Uh, so then it kind of matches. And then of course, we're going to get 16 inch high walls. Uh, and that should look pretty pretty cool and hopefully we can get the front end to lift up off the ground i don't know if that's a thing uh but i would like to try definitely okay well let's go ahead and put these front hubs on and uh, yeah then we'll pretty much be done uh next up though is we're gonna have to build an engine for this thing uh you know what i mean anyway let's get this all tightened one two three And that should be it, just those three. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the, the front right on now. Uh, let's see, one, two, and a three. And then we could put the hubs on, uh, which are really nice because it's just a single bolt in the middle. There we go. And there we go. Okay, okay. Um, let's just put some rims on it for now, just so we could see how it looks with the raised rear end and all that. Uh, let's just put these ones on the back for now. Or, well, hold on, hold the horn, hold the horn, hold the phones. Uh, let's put these ones on the rear uh, since they actually match. There we go. One, two, three, four, and a five. Uh, let's grab this one next, which these are 15s. Um, yeah, the 16s I think will look better. Uh, one, two, three, four, and a five. See how they're not very wide? Anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and put some front rims on. Um, I guess we could put these ones on since they match. Um, it doesn't really matter. I don't really have any tires. Let's see, 15 inch. Uh, let's see if we have any 15 inch high walls anywhere. Uh, we do have one here. Um, these are just temporary, so we will be putting regular uh, wheels on here shortly, but or tomorrow or whatever, the next video. Anyway, let's grab, we said 15s, right? Here's another 15 high wall, okay. There we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and just throw these on right away. Uh, yep. There's no brakes, uh, so it's not like we're going to be driving it. There's not an engine in it either. Uh, we could easily put this engine in it, though. Um, the little four-banger up there uh, to kind of test it out, but we're not going to do that. Anyway, uh, let me just fill these up with air real quick. Where the heck is the air pump? That's going to be back here, and then we'll drop it, and then we'll see exactly how high off the ground this thing is in the back. There we go. Let's get the rest. Okay, there we go. They're all filled up with air. 
Uh, let's drop it and see, but check it out. These ones actually clip through, uh, so I might have to get smaller rims in the front for this to work. Oh, yeah, that definitely is not going to work. Okay, okay. Well, that's fine. 16 high walls should definitely fit on the back with it lifted like that. As far as the front goes, though, uh, we are definitely going to have to probably go with 14 low pros. It'll look pretty silly, uh, but it will be pretty cool, I think. Um, so anyway, anyway, I don't think I have any smaller rims or tires. Uh, we do have some 14s here, though. Um, do we have any rims, though? That's the question. Uh, and the answer to that question is we do. You know what? Let's just throw these on real quick uh, and just see how it works and see if it'll if it'll actually still clip through or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're not the best color, but we could paint those easily, uh, even blue or red. Um, the the ones in the game are the game. The ones in the TV show are red. So perhaps we will do that as well. Let's just paint these real quick. And yeah, and we'll throw them on. There we go. There we go. Yep. Okay. Just give me a second. Uh, we'll have these on in a jiffy. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Check it out. So the 14s did not work because they're four bolts. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I got some 15s. Uh, the rims that are actually on the car in the uh, TV show and we got low pros and it looks like it just just fits now we put these big bad boys on the back 16 inch rims high profile probably 245s or something but uh, maybe 255s uh, 65s even they are pretty wide indeed but yeah yeah okay I think that's gonna probably be it for this one though you guys so stay tuned for the next one uh, where we'll, we will be doing a uh, V8 build for this puppy. And we also need to figure out what the hell is going on with those doors, by the way. Why is there a gap? Let me know down below. Do I have the wrong doors? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, but something is definitely off. Something is off, and I'm not too sure what it is. It looks like the door is almost too long. Like it's supposed to uh, line up or something. Anyway, anyway, that's going to be it for this one, though. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, of course, we'll see you all in the next one guys later on later on <laughs> all right we'll see you guys later adios adios